In honor of Juneteenth, the Neil Cochran House Museum is offering a driving tour of African American history in Central West Austin through June 25th. It starts at the museum and winds through the historic sites of Wheatville and Clarksville. Dear Newbaum is live in West Austin with the details. Hey, Tier, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, the museum always has wonderful programming right here in our backyard in Central Austin near the UT campus in Rowena. The driving tour, it's underway through June 25th. Can you tell us about it and some of the stops that people are going to make along the way? Sure. So um, the beginning, we begin here. Uh, we're the first stop, and uh, there are actually 10 stops that take you from here up a block to the Fontaine Building, which is the last building standing from the Wheatville Freedom Colony. And then you come back here, grab your car, and you loop around through Pease Park uh, and down into Clarksville. And Clarksville, like Wheatville, was um, one of uh, Austin's 15 original freedom colonies, and it's not intact, but it is somewhat intact because the residents of Clarksville refused to leave. So in 1928, when the city uh, coerced residents of color to move east of what is now I-35, Clarksville residents refused to move. And um, as a result, they retained um, important aspects of their neighborhood. And so this driving tour gives you the opportunity to learn a bit about us, um, learn about Wheatville, learn about Clarksville. Um, and you, as you go along, you're accompanied by your guide. There are videos uh, that you get to watch um, as you hit each stop. Yeah, and you guys have a little pamphlet here that will give a map and information right. about each stop exactly. along the way. Um, as for the museum, the Neil Cochran House Museum, you guys always have programming going on aside from history and driving tours. What else is going on here? Sure. Well, as you see, uh, we're, we are in an art exhibit. Uh, this is our downstairs exhibit gallery. The show that we have up right now is called Signs and Symbols, The Trees Are Talking, and it's the work of longtime Austin artist uh, Regina Thomas. And uh, Reggie's been here since the 1970s. Uh, she began actually actually is a glass blower um, and then has moved into painting along with glass. Um, so we are, always have some sort of art exhibit up or a history exhibit. We have scavenger hunts for kids. Um, we're a very accessible place for families to come. We do um, family programming once a month, typically the second Sunday of the month. Next month we'll be doing embroidery because we can do that indoors and we anticipate it's not getting any cooler. Um, and uh, we do a lot of performing arts uh, as well. So I would say check out our website, um, join our newsletter and uh, keep up to date with what we're doing because whether you're a history buff, you're an arts person, um, there's always something going on. Love that. And as for signing up for this driving tour, what's the best way for people to sign up? They stop here at the museum first, um, but what, what do you recommend there? Sure. Well, um, you don't need to do anything in advance. Um, we are open Wednesday to Sunday, 11 to 4, and um, the driving tour is included with admission through this upcoming Sunday. So all you have to do is show up here grab your copy and um, come see the museum. We encourage you to see the museum while you're here. We have the, how this all started is we have the last intact slave dwelling left in the city of Austin. And, um, and so that's a really important, that's how this driving tour began. Um, so please do see the slave quarters while you're here uh, and then kind of head out on your way. Incredibly impactful history that people can learn along the way. And then you guys also have a new book out. We do. So a couple of years ago, we put together an exhibit that was based on our research into the slave quarters and how our site engages with the larger city of Austin across its history. So this book is called Reckoning with the Past, Slavery, Segregation, and Gentrification in Austin. Um, I co-authored it with Dr. Tara Dudley of uh, the UT Austin School of Architecture. And um, this book really gives you an overview of Austin racial history, specifically black uh, Austin history. Um, but it's told a bit from the perspective of our site. So um, it's our site looking out at the city and the way the city has changed around us over time. Yeah, you said it's a perspective from the front porch of the museum here. We're going to check in from, from, from some of those spots on the driving tour in just a bit. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Yeah, some important history. All right. Thank you, Tara. We'll check back in.